Hey everybody, Rodamon here. Thank you for tuning in to episode 2 of Project Zomboid Apocalypse, which originally streamed live September 14th. I think she's wearing a leather coat. You want to uh, salvage clothing off of things that you, yep, leather coat, uh, off of things that you're killing, use blunt weapons. If you use sharp weapons, you'll ruin the clothing. Oh, he might, no, that's like a suit jacket. Yep. You thought this Yoda was a zombie in the corner of the map? Hey, Yoda. You hear that? You're a zombie, dude. <laughs> now with this uh if i could find like a hammer or something i can start breaking in the doors that were locked to me previously that would be pretty handy and yeah yoda does have a set of rules waking up for food is fine Yeah, there's a lot more cars in there, huh? A lot of potential. Would it be worth breaking into the garden shed? Uh, yes, but metal pipes don't make for very good blunt force tools. So I want to, and I could use the metal pipe in a pinch, but a baseball bat would be better. Insert baseball bat. Why is there a baseball bat in a hearse? Were they expecting the zombies to rise? I'm gonna go with a yes. Um. Let's see if this has gas. Another thing I need to be searching, unless I want to go gas station, is what cars have gas that I can siphon. Hello. I'm actually impressed that she found her way to get to me. Okay, this has nothing in it. But does it have gasoline? One. So let's go with sort of has gasoline. Even getting one car out of this lot, zero, uh, is a pretty good. One fairly mint car, and everybody knows how I drive, so fairly mint means it will be totaled in like an hour or two. All right, this one's empty as well. Nothing like some antidepressants. Wow, I'm getting tired already. At 4 p.m.? Yeah, uh, there was two gallons or two units of gas in there. Zombies were pretty, pretty prevalent in pop culture in the 90s. In fact, I would say even more so than now. Because most horror films, um, just for technical reasons, like if you can think of a horror film, now horror films can have CGI and stuff like that. Back then, you couldn't. There wasn't CGI. So you had to put someone that was shaped like a human into a suit or makeup or something, which is why 
until the advent of CGI, decent CGI, not like the Mummy Returns Scorpion King CGI, um, most of horror was people in costumes. And uh, zombies is pretty easy to do. So they were very common. Oh, look at all these people. Hi, guys. Try to path to me. So if you really wanted to, you could build a wall right there at the gate and then, like, car barricade up your wall for a large plot. Uh, but I don't think that's the route I'm going to go. It would be a pretty decent route to protect yourself, but... Even if it's secure, I don't like being on the ground floor. It scares me. Yeah, just like Star Trek aliens, all the aliens just look like people. That's exactly what I mean. They're just people with extra facial prosthetics. But that was the limitation, and that was fine. Uh, totally fine. Alright, there's a ton of gas in this Masterson Horizon. And it is probably the car in the best condition in this lot, other than this Nyla. And the van, perhaps. Well, my character is tired. I'm going to start heading home. I've checked this whole lot, and we can go to a different POI point of interest tomorrow. Tin Cat, thanks for the sub of, uh, earlier today, by the way. Okay, avoid them. And welcome to your, your first stream. How did you like uh, Survive the Swarm? I'm doing a lot of zombie-themed stuff this week. So let's take a look at the skills. Carpentry is almost level 2. Sprinting in Nimble is slow. Why do I have Long Blunt? Is this Metal Pipe Long Blunt now? And if so, since when? Eh, whatever. I don't really care. Just surprised. Tailoring book. Teach me. Okay, so that was... That was... It is the night of the 10th. What did I just learn? Uh, farming? Yeah, I learned farming. Okay, I got farming level 1. Cool. It's green, I should've... Yeah, I guess the trumpet was a long blunt. Today I learned... Okay, that box is full. And I'm just going to do some additional uh, reading of the tailoring book. Hopefully I get scissors and a needle. Because I don't want to go to sleep too early because I'll end up... Uh, it'll be bad. I'll end up waking up in the middle of the night. Another thing that might be good for me to read is... Do I have an electrical book? No. Because I have a lot of stuff to dismantle, but no electrical. I probably also need to crack a, a can of something to cook. Because I'm hungry and I need to gain weight. <laughs> Just a whole bag of sugar. <laughs> that would uh, that'd be gross. I guess the canned peas. I don't love cracking cans early game because, you know, they're non-perishable. It's best to wait. 
but in a pinch, they'll do. I generally, playing PZ, don't have issues feeding myself, so I'm not overly worried about that. Is this Iron Man? Uh, yes. It is Iron Man. And I'm just gonna watch myself. I don't really care about my clothes. So let's look at the map again. I am in, like, a outskirt of the town. And I'm gonna want to venture more into town as most of the houses around me are gonna be looted. Now there's... There might be the desire to... Um... Get into that, uh, cemetery shed. I can definitely see the benefit of that. Well, I really thought I would have woken up um, after alarm or uh, before alarm. They might simulate dental hygiene at some point. I wouldn't rule it out. Yeah, with the toothbrush and toothpaste. That'd be brutal. That'd be hard to keep up. At, at, at some point, you don't want PZ to be a chore. So there's, you know, it kind of reminds me of like The Sims, where like if you're playing The Sims and there's just too much uh, upkeep, like, oh, you know, you need to like wash and go to the bathroom and talk to friends and make food. And it's like, oh my God, it's just a second job. You can click the icon to turn the uh, alarm off. True. Okay, I'll do that in the future. Cool, thanks for the tip. Hey, Ron. Ron here, if you don't know in chat, does um, beautiful renditions of the PZ soundtrack and has a YouTube channel where he posts, I'm guessing all of your stuff, or at least most, I think that... Is this show done? I think the show is done. It was a lower XP day. This is day three. No, it should be more XP than that, but I think it's maybe just because I'm higher level. There it goes. Yeah, it's done. Let's continue patrolling. I feel like the neighborhood watch with my little makeshift billy club. Some uh, vigilante justice, I suppose. Did I go fishing or is that a starting stat? Uh, it was the television. So neither, neither, nor... The TV told me. It's the first show that plays on the first night of Life and Living. So there's only another half block of houses this way. So I'll probably be done with this neighborhood uh, soon. I like when they die easy. Another thing I need to be doing is checking the radios everywhere I go. If any of them have the emergency channel, which this does not. In truth, I should probably be dismantling it as well for the battery and for uh, experience. All right, please have something to eat. And this time, Shona, I will check the freezer. Canned beans. Okay, carton of eggs. Some assembly required. I already have mechanics for beginners, I think. 
I can always... I'm 90% sure I already have it. I didn't mark it down, but... I'm gonna go with... I'll grab it anyway. I like this bedroom. No windows. Smart. Keeps the creeps out. You don't like how houses have alarms that go off once the power's out? I agree. I'm right there with you. A snow shovel and a rank. Snow shovels aren't bad weapons. Wooden mallet. A hammer. Good. We got a hammer finally. And nails. So a hammer's gonna allow me to get through locked doors that otherwise I would need to bash. I could see the appeal for RVs in this game. I, I do think it might make things a little too easy. Hey, we got ice cream. Making sure that we got what was on, yeah, we got what was on that shelf. Good. Tweezers, vitamins. Uh, no, this has different rules. It's up in the about command. It's actually easier to understand because there's no safe scumming, there's no zone restrictions. Go where we want. And if we die, we die. Right, Yoda? Why is the about command not working? Maybe I screwed up the command. Let me see. I'm sure that that's the problem. Oh no, it's not. It's not mod only. I... I don't know. There doesn't seem to be anything wrong with the command, I just checked it. <laughs> it, it only is allowed to, to display once every 30 seconds, but I think it's been longer than 30 seconds, so I honestly don't know why it didn't display. And then, uh, there is map as well. And that is the map of Riverside. So there's one more, there's like two more cabins to my right. There's a burger joint and like a fishing shack rest stop thing. But I'm not going to go there just yet. I'm going to circle back towards home because I'm fairly encumbered already. Let's just eat the whole thing of ice cream. Wait, gang, here I come. Okay, this looks like an undesired fight. While I'm encumbered, I'm not gonna fight. It's foolish. These guys are definitely gonna follow me all the way back to the house, but my hope is that I can put all the stuff I have away and then dispatch them rather than fighting way down. Once I die, is that it for the playthrough? Uh, yeah, I would probably continue. I could either A, continue where I left off, or B, uh, start from a new day zero. Not a second longer to spare. Ah! 
I'm gonna sit on the ground because I know it doesn't say I'm encumbered, but I'm sure not uh, encumbered, uh, exhausted. But I'm sure I'm a little exhausted. And sitting on the ground helps you recover from exhaustion. Oh, don't do that to my windows. Nice, getting kills. Why does that dude have a dot? Well, that's probably a very sad story. No trespassing, thank you. Am I exploring more of this playthrough? Yes, I will not be restricted to a chunk. There is no rules. If 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 you don't see it in, written in the rules, then it's not a rule. So as you may have noticed, I don't have any zone restriction rules or resurrection or any of that. This is way more just like the most vanilla at the difficulty level that I'm playing as you can be. I'm not, um, not making it any more complicated than that. Open egg carton. Frying pan. Oh, and milk. Well, as long as I have power, might as well use it. Egg stir fry. Or really, just scrambled eggs or something. As, uh, there's nothing else in it but eggs. Is this going to be a regular stream? That's up to you all. That's not really up to me. This is a result of uh, it winning in the polls. And a new, f a new poll will be put up tonight after the stream. And that will determine next week's. And uh, that's how it will go from here. I hope so, in other words. Alright, still uncooked. I feel like I hear some growl. Nope, maybe it's just in my head. Which doesn't make that any more comforting. Still uncooked. There we go. Trying to put on the weight so that I can uh, lose my underweight penalties. We probably need win conditions. Or, alternatively, just a lose condition. Play until I die. It's sad, but that's how most Project Zomboid goes. Is you play until you die. That's not what I wanted to do. Just putting the planks on the ground. I wanted to get uh, rid of some of the excess furniture that I don't really need. It also levels up carpentry a little bit. Not much. A little bit. I could put up boards on the windows. I don't think I'm going to be here long enough, and I'm just going to play it dangerous. No glass is broken or anything like that, so I'm just going to assume that they won't do that. Which is a terrible assumption, if I'm being perfectly honest. Uh, State of Decay is a game that I'll be playing on Thursday. Uh, whether I keep playing or not, again, it's sort of up to like popular demand. If I feel like uh, there's a lot of people watching, and there's people that want it, want it I'll continue it. But if it doesn't meet those sort of thresholds, if people aren't watching, people don't want it, then I move on. All right, here, what I'm just doing is reading the first page or two of the books, the beginner books that I have, so that I know which be beginner books I have and which I need. So, mechanics I have two of.
Did I just shove... Okay, no, I kept that on me. All right, this is day three, noon. This is going to be a carpentry show. And this should kick our carpentry up to two and change. Maybe fill up the water cooler? You know, you're right. I uh, I didn't really check if the water cooler was full or not. I should do that, because a full water cooler is obviously a lot more useful than an empty one. It's usually full when you find it, though, yeah. But I shouldn't assume that. It's not a safe assumption. God, these in infomercials. Just stop. They're talking about chairs today. <laughs> there we go. Thanks, guy. I need all the luck I can get. So far, so good, though. And Shroomzy, thanks for the bits. Have I started prepping for the helicopter event? Um, yeah. I don't know what the emergency channel is, and but I do have a car with uh, water and a generator in it already. So, that's pretty good prep. Alternatively, I could also do the tactic where I hide from the helicopter. So, I don't necessarily need to go anywhere. Uh, so, if you're not familiar with that tactic, uh, instead of trying to flee the helicopter, where obviously it's going to see you and summon a swarm on you, if the entire day that the helicopter's out and about from sunup to midnight... If you are nowhere to be seen, if you're in like a room with no uh, doors or windows or anything, or not doors, but windows that aren't boarded up or something like that, the helicopter won't know where you are and it won't really summon a swarm to you unless you get particularly unlucky and it hovers over you because it's evil. So you can either plan to drive away from your base during the chopper event or just turtle up in your base and don't you know, don't go out until the chopper's gone. Uh, both are are technically viable solutions. So, I don't know. I haven't decided which one is which. I don't think I'm going to be basing in this part of the neighborhood, though. So, driving away is not that much of a problem for me. Because I have no allegiance to this neighborhood. It's not a neighborhood I want to live in long term. So, if that informs a bit. There's also the, yeah, the Molotov alternative, which is setting fires all around you and just letting the chopper signal of Gondor summon all enemies at you and then just have them burn up or whatever. It's a little bit trickier to do, and when you're not safe scumming and you don't go with that approach very often, uh, you'll, you could just as easily become the victim as the victor. Any other beginners that I need to read? First aid for beginners. Yep. Okay. Going camping in the middle of nowhere it doesn't protect you from the chopper. The chopper is basically going to find you if you are visible from the outside. Basically, if you have uncovered windows anywhere and you're outdoors, the chopper will find you and will summon everything onto your head. Unless, unless um, you are indoors with no, no windows or anything like that. Uh, so it's actually particularly dangerous, I would say, to be in a cabin in the middle of the woods during the chopper event because the chopper is going to ruin that cabin in the middle of the woods and everything will come crashing down on your head. But maybe you like that. I don't know. But I think for a lot of inexperienced and first-time players of PZ, they think that that's a viable solution, but the chopper is like, 
the, ch the chopper will find you <laughs> and get you. Chopper's like Santa Claus. I know I had some more nails. I could build a spike baseball bat, but nah, I think I'm good. Gonna need more smoke soon. I'm just eating the entire stir fry. It's way more food than I need, but I'm trying to put weight on so I'm not underweight. And that will allow me to, it'll reduce the chance that zombies trip me and it will raise my fitness. Both are good. Wow, I had uh, zombies pretty close to the base. Where are these guys? M MP Bavu, thanks for the reset. From France? Cool. Oh, this is my hammer. Incorrect. Where'd these guys come from? Just like the woods. I do like the new hairstyles in the latest patch, the mohawks. With uh, hair gel, you can actually make your mohawk stand upright. Like you're going to a... Uh, what would be an early 90s reference? Nirvana or Offspring or something? I don't know. Like you're going to a concert. Let's go ahead and crack into the shed that was locked. There was two of them. There's this shed that I couldn't get into, and then the one at the cemetery, because I have a hammer. Uh, wooden mallet. Let me check real quick. PZ, wiki, wooden mallet. I'm curious if the wooden mallet is good for uh, breaking into things. Mm, no? Maybe? Alright, PZ Wiki Weapons. So, for weapons, there is door damage. And, obviously, sledges are gonna win at that fight. But for short blunt, ball peen hammer, club hammer, dumbbell hammer, wooden mallet. Oh, wooden mallet is actually at the top of the short blunt list, so we're good. Sickless, thanks for the resub. From Toronto. It's always fun to hear where people's from. One of my dogs is from, uh, kind of near Toronto. And if you're wondering, I have already tried to open this door. Uh, it's locked. On another generator. I guess I could have told... Uh, they had a window? I'm gonna pretend like I didn't know that there was a window back there. Obviously, doing that would have been a lot easier. The shed's pretty awesome, with a, yet another generator. Oh, I cancelled it. I never went into this house either. Yeah, I was being chased, you're right. So, I will poke into this house in a second. Oh, well. We'll see. How many Jennies can the car hold? Uh, four, maybe? I could put this generator in the passenger seat. Instead, I think what I'm going to do is leave the generator here uh, so that if somehow the car is a uh, unobtainable, I have a backup generator somewhere else where I know where it is. That's probably uh, 
it's probably prudent. But the extra metal pipe is nice, and the metal bar. Metal bars can also be used to secure windows. They don't block line of sight, but they're pretty secure. Um, I might want to bring my garden... Oh, I don't need the wire. My garden saw uh, around with me so I can break things down. Hammer and garden saw is a pretty good combination. Generators are, are too heavy for seats. Well, so seats can have one overweight item. Um, so you can put any any one item into, into a seat. So if a seat only can hold, let's say, 10 pounds or 10 units, you can put like a 50 unit thing in that seat, but then nothing else. Um, so I already have a generator and a water cooler. Water coolers are now uh, 30 kilos in the two seats of that car there. Metalwork. I don't have that because I would have read the first page of it. Nope, I didn't mean to put it back. Now the only risk, ooh, we got some ham and jerky. The only risk of uh, filling your car's seats, especially a passenger seat, which I tend never to do because it's, in my opinion, uh, very, very dangerous. If you fill the passenger seat and then somehow you obstruct the driver's seat, you can't get out of your car. So like if, if, if you have a swarm of zombies bashing on the driver's side door and you have stuff in your passenger, um, you're, you gotta fumble around your inventory to try to move whatever's in the passenger seat out of the passenger seat, or you will die, or, or your car will get wrecked or something. So I usually leave the, um, the passenger side empty. Hey dude, you want more treats? Tosk isn't around here, so Yoda gets all the treats. Wait, how is this locked from the inside? Oh, because I broke the lock, I think. That checks out. Okay, we're headed over to the cemetery's shed in hopes to find something we want. Double checking that there's no windows and there's not. There are some zombies around, which might be attracted to the noise, so I gotta watch my back while I do this. Let's hit it once and see. Nope, they didn't seem to hear it. Because as one could imagine, bashing a door down with a wooden mallet, or really any weapon, is pretty exhausting. So you don't want to be exhausted going into a fight. Ooh. More metal stuff. Man, if there's a sledgehammer. <laughs> Screwdriver? No. And nothing. Well. At least we know. Right? At least we know. Now, inside the church itself, uh, there might be a vehicle in the driveway. I'm going to check. But there generally isn't much of worth in there. It's just a bunch of pews. Because this is a particularly small church. The cab looks okay. Oh, those two zombies are going to see me. Oh, I don't really care. They look more strung out than they look zombie. And the keys are in the ignition. Neat. 
I can't check under the hood because of the where it's parked. Oh, a uh, perfect condition leather jacket. It is empty of gas. I think we can confirm. Yeah, that is the deafest zombie ever. <laughs> like, turning over the engine next to his head, he didn't even notice. Yeah. Very austere, very Spartan church there. Now, let's get back for our shows. Oh, there's a swarm now. Good to know. Maybe I'll stop in some other house, take a bit of a rest, and watch someone else's TV. Not. Oh, yep, here. Perfect. I'm not picky, I don't really care whose TV it is. Can't be too late. Come on now. Play. Well, I'll just rest then. What was this anyway? This was the. Oh, you know what? It's nothing. There is no. It. Yeah. Okay. There's. There's nothing. You actually don't need to catch it exactly at the top of the hour. The way it works is if you are the first object that, like the first television that can play it between its hours, um, we'll start it off. So if like you sit down at an hour late, it's fine. But tonight it was actually, there was no show scheduled. It was a, it was a little bit about, um, how to make a campfire, which is not a, uh, XP show, so it didn't really matter. Where'd all these zombies come in from, though? I had pretty thoroughly cleared the neighborhood, and now there's like two groups of ten. Which, on this difficulty with no multi hit, is uh. kind of difficult. Just looping this song. <laughs> All right. Play the sad music on loop. Yeah, it gives me the crafting recipe for the uh, making a campfire, but it's really not a big deal. So those two cabinets are full. We've been productive. Now I'm ridiculously tired, so I'm not going to go back out again. Just smoke a cigarette, read a bit of a book. I am still remarkably surprised I haven't found scissors yet. All of what I've searched, no scissors. Hope it's not my new... Probably scissors won't be the new sledgehammer, but a needle and thread might be. Well, not thread, but a needle might be. JamW, yeah, thank you for that sub. I'm I'm happy that uh, you're here to support. Cheers, dude. Here, I'll give you some Yoda. Some Yoda time. I also called Tusk over. We'll have a little celebration. So my alarm's set and on. And I'm ready for tomorrow's cooking.
I was gonna give them treats anyway, but here we go. I have such a warm community that you feel like you've been here the whole time. Well, that's not my doing. That's all of your doing. <laughs> but I agree with you too. And now, cooking should be level two. There it is. Completely, completely negating that book. Kind of unfortunate, but it is what it is. And we're getting through the tailor for beginners. Tailoring might not sound like a, a, like a sexy skill to have, but being able to improve your clothing so it increases your tankiness is incredible. You can still set <laughs> the alarm on and off while you're sleeping. <laughs> that that's a that's that's funny. All right, what's left in this neighborhood? There is I don't think much left actually. Hmm. Yeah, tailoring is one of the best skills. I agree with you there. Yeah, I don't love the couch potato meta. Um, I'm no fan of it either. But I play by the game's rules. So it is what it is. What is my engine quality? I'm sort of curious how often this thing's going to stall on me. Engine power, 400. Engine... Quality, 10. And loudness, 54. If a real apocalypse would happen, you'd be a couch potato. All right, and the engine here, quality, 52, loudness, 53. Yeah, the other, that other Nyla has a super garbage engine which is going to stall on me and be massively unreliable as much as it can be. But I don't really have the mechanics skill to change it, so I'll live with it. Ooh, hey, box truck. So I'm finally going far enough away from the base that I think it's probably useful for me to uh, bring the vehicle while I go. And Ron, I would disagree. Carpentry might seem useless, but it's not just stairs, it's also rain barrels. Without carpentry skill, you're going to have a hard time plumbing stuff. You can collect water in like paint cans and buckets, but for plumbing, without carpentry, you are. I guess there is a few places on the map that have um that have wells, but you can't really uh, you can't really plumb to a well. So here's the tackle shop. I have no idea if I'm going to get into fishing, but it, I'll just take their tackle. Oh, there are rain barrels here, though. Um. I'm gonna try to use the water up so I can, uh, <laughs> I can take them. Why can't you just take the lids off trash cans? Uh, it just the does the, the game doesn't let you. I don't have a better reason for it. Just it's not a thing that exists.
What difficulty? Um, it's up in the about command and should be in the title. Hey, Pet Yoda. Oh. Hey, buddy. Oh, it's to, to village? I gotcha. I don't think you can plumb to a bucket or a cooking pot. I think you have to plumb to placeables. I mean, it sort of works, but not, not that way. Tusky has already, uh, already left me, but I've just called her back if she, if she comes. So this is out of gas. And they lock the trunk too. There you are. Hey girl. <laughs> Ooh, spare leather gloves. Cool. It's always useful. No key in the ignition. Lug wrench and tire pump is something I already have. Uh, sport batteries is probably not something I'm going to need. Let's check that box truck now. Hi. No gas. Trunk is 138 storage, which is really good. No key, just a newspaper. In the glove. And no key. Could be keys in here. This is, uh, what is this? A convenience store? This is, oh, the burger joint. Do I want a raw potato? Not really. An uncooked meat patty. Oh, I'll just put the patty cooking right all right well some of the locals have found me okay it is cooking Uh, a bunch of cooking pots. Honestly, not nearly as much stuff as I was hoping to find in here. Pretty devoid of, uh, food. Alright, come on, Patty, cook faster. <laughs> there's, there's people waiting for him. I am Bob, and this is my burger joint. My voice is more background? Uh oh. Uh oh. I'm gonna get out of here. Shut up. Oh, stop. Crouching. Should have, uh, opened that beforehand. All right, there we go. Nom nom nom. My burger. Not your burger, my burger. And my cigarette. 
All right, let's stay away from combining these groups so I don't have too many to uh, to deal with at once. Look at how they're dressed. This one's like mohawk and evening gown. They're done. Are we winning? Well, I don't know if there's such a thing as winning in Project Zomboid, but we're not losing. Not yet. There are no NPCs. Not yet. This game will eventually have them coming as the last feature added before full release. The ETA, totally unknown. I would say it's probably even unknown to the developers themselves. But yeah, currently there aren't NPCs unless you use mods. Just you and the zombies. It's also multiplayer, so... You could play multiplayer and, you know, instead of NPCs, it'd just be other players. From here, uh, there is a clothing store and some other points of interest to my southwest, a laundromat. But I have to be careful not to, uh, not to piss off too many of the swarmers. Hello? Trying to whisper at them to... Okay, there we go. How many did I get? Two? Oh, there's... It's also TV time. Uh, let me prioritize television. How does that burger joint not have a television? And I don't think this uh, fish shack had one either. Nope. So let's get home. I hate you, engine. Most unreliable thing about this car. No, I don't want to use cruise control. A part of me wants to open up the driver's side door to hit zombies, but... Uh, oops, the other part of me knows that won't work. All right, I have to find a different television somewhere else because obviously I'm not going to fight those 25 zombies for a TV. <laughs> I don't know if I'm going to get the whole thing, but I literally walk in and it's like... <laughs> no, I think I missed most of it. Oh well, an attempt was made. Maybe not. It's still coming in. Thank you for tuning in to Project Zomboid Apocalypse, which originally streamed live September 14th. If you have any feedback for me, let me know in the comments below. If you would like to catch a live stream of mine, Rodamont.com has my stream schedule and countdown timers to upcoming streams. Thank you so very much for watching. I hope to catch you next episode or an upcoming stream. Farewell, everybody.